What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna be heading to uh, a lab we have. We have to go to downtown Toronto and uh, you're gonna be coming with us. I'm just gonna show you real quick what I require for my lab today and uh, all the stuff that I will be taking with me in my bag. So let's check it out. All right, so guys, this is all the stuff we will be taking to the lab today. So I got my watch. Uh, we need that for taking vital signs. Uh, I got a stethoscope, got a face shield. Um, I got my MacBook Pro. Um, we got this pen light, very bright. Uh, and then we got this BP cuff and I got my scrubs. So this is all the stuff we're gonna need today. And uh, yeah. We also might go to Chen Chen's today, uh, as you guys probably seen in my Toronto vlog. It's the burger place. Uh, it's surprisingly close. It's like a five minute drive from my uh, school. So we might go there after if we have time. Cause I got a quiz at three today. So I'm gonna have to do that too. So now we're just gonna head out and uh, it's about a 30, 35 minute drive from my house. So yeah, let's go. It's a nice day outside as you can see, but uh, there's the ice uh, frozen on the windshield. I'm gonna have to defrost that, but otherwise it's very sunny. I can feel the heat. Uh, yeah, good day to go out. All right guys, so uh, ignore everything I said earlier. Um, it's super cold outside, uh, although the sun might be out, but it's pretty cold. It's like negative nine, negative 10 degrees. Yeah, I'm freezing right now. Ah, uh, so stupid. So I had the car on for like 10 minutes. I realized I came in here that the heat wasn't on. I just turned it on. <laughs> I didn't see the, it didn't defrost. Uh, so yeah, now we have to wait. Heated seats in the winter are a major key. <laughs> see what I did there? You see a major key. Never mind. All right, uh, it, the windshield cleared up. Now we're gonna head out. So I'm gonna have to get a ticket from here. Parking usually costs me, so it's two and a half dollars for each half hour. I'm gonna be here for like two and a half hours, so that's around twelve and a half dollars to park here. Plus like five, maybe five dollars in gas, maybe more. So it's whatever, once a week, not bad. I'd rather do this than take the train or the bus. Look at this. Actually, so nice, bro. It's actually so nice. <sighs> All right, see you guys in two hours, and. Twelve and a half dollars is the total. Sorry guys, can't see that. Oh, oh my God, bro. This is sticky. It's sticky every time. They need, oh, it's cheesing me every time. Like, why is it sticky? Boss up. Oh my God, I have to use hand sanitizer now. Here we are, guys. Uh, so I'm taking the stairs. I'm still in my scrub, so I'm not gonna show you that. I'm gonna go inside and order. So it's gonna be a 10, 15 minute wait. Uh, the weather's pretty nice now, not cold anymore. There's a CN Tower. Uh, here, I don't know what this is. Body of water that's frozen. Probably go skating on this. Should have probably went home and studied, but uh, I got hungry. What can you do, you know? Package secured. We got the bag closed. Uh, they didn't get my name right again. That's okay. I'm really spell it out for them. I literally say A, V, and Y. I guess they mix up the V and B, but you know, it's okay. 
Well, we're gonna start munching now. Let's actually get this going. Look at this. Oh my God. I'm about to get fat again. Okay, we're gonna munch on this and then head home. All right guys, so we're just gonna do a quick workout right now. Um, we're gonna do shoulders, triceps, and uh, a little boxing workout. I'm not gonna show you guys that because uh, <clears throat> it could get boring, I know. I just might do a quick one, two uh, time lapse. All right guys, so I was doing a little workout. And uh, first of all, this chair box is still here. Need to get that rid of that, but Lucy's in there, having fun in there, so. We're gonna leave him. <clears throat> I've noticed all these trophies and all these uh, medals and stuff. Got some medals here, you know. Uh, I'm just gonna show you guys this real quick. All right, guys, uh, look at this. 2009. <laughs> My teammates. <laughs> you play soccer as a kid, don't really play anymore. Um, Cause. Uh, not really that good. <laughs> oh no way, I haven't seen this so long. <laughs> Look at this. You see me, we, we've been out here. <clears throat> I don't know where this picture went, but uh, I'm not here either, so. <laughs> I think I didn't show up to this picture. Look at that. It's my boy Brandon right there. This one. I had no idea he was on my team back then, but look at this. Okay, the Lucy, stop. Lucy, please. Please. Please, baby. Okay, look. All right, so these are all the trophies I had. Obviously, I wasn't very good, so their participation story, I mean, stories, trophies, because, you know, they, they wanted the kids to be happy and not feel bad because they were garbage at soccer. Uh, all of them are, wait, what, there's two? All of them are participation except these two. I just thought it was one, but there's two apparently. And it says most valuable player. And I can guarantee you that this is not true. I was garbage. Like I was literally, I, I used to be a defender and like I literally used to stand there and like <laughs> watch the ball go past me. So I don't know how this is possible. I don't know whose trophy they gave me, but uh, thank you guys, appreciate it. And this is, this is pretty sick, not gonna lie. Now that I look back at it, it's actually pretty sick. Next up, we have all the swimming achievements. So uh, level one, level two novice, level two pro, uh, Oh, actually splash when I say level um splash three and splash four uh I, I've, I've done all of them I just can't find the rest and then here is uh, the bronze star uh, all my all my volunteer hours in high school uh, I did at the recreation center helping uh, swimming instructors and stuff so that was pretty cool so up next uh, as you can see <laughs> and then when I grow up I want to be a firefighter. I like to help people. I like firefighter. <laughs> Firefighters, or not even as firefighter, are great. So my English wasn't great back then, but uh, you know, uh, this this didn't work out <laughs> as planned. It looks so cool there. Look at this. Yeah, this is back in I don't even know. I think grade one or grade two. This is pretty sick. All right, then next we got this. It's a sculpture. I made this uh, in grade 10, I think. Grade 10 or 11. Uh, I actually love this. This is, this is a snake, so the snake is, I, I don't I remember, I, I swear there's a story behind this or something, but I don't really remember now. Uh, but yeah, so this is a snake and the snake is all over the on the back and starting from the beginning. And yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. And 
knowing that I made this myself uh, without any help. Uh, like it might be, it might look ugly to you guys, but I actually kind of like this. It's kind of hard. And lastly, we got metal sword panga. Um, when we used to do it, I learned it for around four years. So uh, I'm pretty good at it. Um, not not uh, as much uh, freestyle like at parties and stuff, but like if I have a routine that I want to perform, uh, I'm pretty good at that. I don't know if I remember everything anymore, but I used to be good at it, I think. This is pretty sick. This is highly recommended too. If you guys don't know <coughs> Bhangra, you should learn. It's very helpful and boosts your self-confidence, I guess, performing, especially if you're performing in front of a lot of people. Uh, I never wanted to do it, but my mom took us one day and uh, I'm glad she did because this was a lot of fun. We're gonna end the vlog here. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, put, turn on all post notifications and uh, we'll see you guys in the next vlog and peace.